Friends, Logan Wells here with Dream Guitars. Uh, in my hands today, I have a 2018 model G1 from Michael Greenfield. Um, G1 is his first model that he ever put together. Um, it's sort of a concert size um, seal string instrument. So, mid range. Um, it's comfortable. It's not a very big box like his G4. Um, it's not as small as his G3 or his G5. Um, so this is right there in that middle sweet spot. Um, very comfortable, very easy to play. It still has a very big voice, which of course that's kind of a classic Greenfield thing. Um, all of his guitars have very big voices. That's kind of his thing. Um, on top we have Adirondacks Bruce, which you know helps with that, adds more power and projection. And the back and sides are uh, Cocobolo. And not only are they Cocobolo, they are 80 year old reserve Cocobolo. So this is very old stuff, which is always a delight to see. And it is gorgeous. Um, very straight grain with a little bit of figuring, which we'll get to. Um, a couple other creature comforts make this instrument an absolute delight to play. Uh, we have a Laskin style um, arm bevel on the top, uh, pinless bridge, which is sort of a, a, an homage to uh, Steve Klein uh, designs. Florentine cutaway, of course, uh, and we also have Evo frets along the fingerboard. Um, Another detail I'll show you here in a second, there's this thing uh, he calls the heel swoosh, uh, the back of the heel, takes a little material out, mean, means uh, getting your left hand to those top frets a little bit easier, and uh, yeah, <laughs> so, hopping on top. Adirondack spruce, and it's a nice tight grain set of Adirondack spruce. Um, it's helpful, this is his G1, slightly smaller bodied instrument, um, there's still good sets of Adirondack out there. Um, and then here we are coming around to that very rich, ruddy hue of the Cocobolo Rosewood. Um, really set off nicely with ebony bindings. And then that's the back set. Just delightful stuff. I mean, oof. Very straight. Nice little bit of figuring here and yonder. Just really good stuff. And here's that heel swoosh I was talking about. Um, he just takes away a little bit of material there. So get that left hand up there just a smidge better. Yeah. Mahogany neck, um, smooth profile throughout, definitely a C shape, um, a slightly full neck profile, uh, which I love. You know, I feel, for me, like the more that my hand contacts the neck, the better I know where my hand is. And I just feel better connected with the instrument, and uh, I feel very well connected with this green field pretty much instantly. Okay. Coming around to the front, again, those Evo frets. Um, you'll also notice that he has he has side dots, but he has um, position markers on the fingerboard that are on the treble side. So when you are playing, um, you can actually see them a smidge better, which is always nice. Yeah. Mm. So yeah, uh, love the guitar. Uh, I, <laughs> I love the way this thing sounds. Lots of mid-range, really strong trebles. Um, the bass keeps up nicely. It's just fantastic. And in a comfortable to play package, so. If you are looking to get into Greenfield, uh, this G1 with Coca-Cola and Adirondack Spruce is an excellent example of Mike's work. So if you want to learn more, give us a shout. We would love to chat. Cheers. <laughs>